BKFC 26. We're here with the victorious Britain Beltran. How sweet was that victory, Britain? Man, too sweet. <laughs> too sweet. Too sweet. <laughs> <laughs> now, a lot of heat going into this one. You guys had fought once before. It was your debut fight the first time you fought. She had said a few things heading into this one about you having progressed as a fighter, which I thought was a foolish thing to say anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, but you went out there. You fought a technical fight. You didn't fall into any of her plans. It was, an, it was a beautifully executed uh, game plan. Can you talk a little bit about what went into that? Yeah, really, it was just drilling the game plan of, of boxing and boxing, not brawling, boxing, and that she was just going to wait and sit there. That she wasn't going to commit, that she wasn't going to come get me. She was just going to wait for me to punch and try to counter. Um, so we knew it. We called it. You know, everything they said was going to happen, happened. Um, yeah, there are some things I wish, of course, that I would have done more and committed. I would have loved to knock her out. I was looking for the knockout, but I, I apologized to my coaches and I apologized to everyone. I just, I just wasn't seeing it and feeling it. I had one good shot that looped around that you can see is bloodied my knuckles. My two knuckles right here bloodied. I had a really good one. And, um, but you know what? Honestly, I watch film. I study film of Beck, and she's tough. And she walks through punches. I've seen her get pieced up. Her last Bellator fight that she won, she got rocked. And she takes them. She takes punches good. So I wasn't trying to overcommit to the knockout and get caught with something stupid. IQ. I slipped some great. really great ones. I moved to the left. I moved to the right. I threw some nice body shots. I mean, I got yeah, too sweet. I really think this might have been your best performance. It might not have been, to, the, to most people, the most exciting fight. Mm -hmm. But it might have been your best fight to date as far as technicality goes. Um, now, you're five and three. Christine Faria already has a title fight coming up with uh, Taylor Starling. So is it going to be take a little time now, take a break, uh, see who wins that one, and then plan your next move? Yeah, I think that um, they're fighting at the end of August. Yeah. So that's kind of some time from now. And um, depending how that fight goes, you know, which I already have, you know, my predictions, but depending on that fight goes, you know, we never know. And they could be, Christine could get injured, and Taylor could win it and get injured, and um, that's going to be prolonged. So I at least want to ask, you know, I need to take some time to 2023. I think that's fair. Um, let them establish who's going to win the title. I'm, I'm probably looking for a trilogy against Christine, um, and I'll be ready for it. I think that I really need to focus on my family right now and friends that I feel like I've kind of maybe neglected, and, and I apologize for that. And I feel like I need to um, work on some things inside and emotionally, but physical and technique and skill, uh, that's never going to stop. I'm still going to go back to the gym and, and work on that so you guys will always see a different version which is great that you guys saw a new version of me today. Amazing, amazing. And before I let you go, I wanted to talk a little bit about your new team, uh, the Slaughterhouse Boxing Gym. Mm -hmm. Huge night for you guys. You went four, four wins, one draw. Um, talk a little bit about training in that place with those guys and the cheat code as your coach now. Uh, obviously, he had a great game plan for you tonight. Uh, talk a little bit about that. Yeah, I can't wait to see them. I haven't seen them yet. I can't wait. But um, Ryan did post something with like a little dance when all four of his fighters. It sucks that Howard got that draw, but you know, man, I have to watch it back. But I heard it was, it's probably fight of the night. Um, it definitely will be. So if anything, four impressive, impressive show outs, um, that's pretty cool. So I can't yeah. wait to celebrate with them. They've been really uh, a really game changer with this one. And I told everyone, you know, I got the cheat code. I hope some of you people parlayed the slaughterhouse tonight and won some money off of these guys. It was a great performance. Uh, thank you for a little bit of your time, as always. Absolutely. All right.